everyone's going to need to be issued a paper bag. Um, and there's another FAQ on why we're using paper. That's because it allows the math to breathe and dry out. We don't want to use plastic because that will keep all the moisture in. Um, and then they're going to have their procedure mask. So um, at the beginning of their shift, they're going to don their procedure mask, um, making sure that they mold that wire to the bridge of their nose and their cheekbones so that there's a nice tight seal. Um, they're going to go about their day wearing it in all of the patient care areas. As they're ready to um, pause and take their mask off for a break, they're going to get their paper bag and they're going to write their name on the front of it. Um, and then on the back side, just take a pair of scissors and cut down a few inches apart so that you have slits in the back of the bag. I'm going to perform my hand hygiene. I'm going to use the ear loops to doff the mask, carefully taking it off. And get it off from underneath my glasses here. Um, just carefully doffing it. You don't want to jiggle the mask so nothing walks off. And then you're going to um, put it so that the front of the mask is towards the front of the bag and the back of the mask is towards the back of the bag. Back of the bag. And then I'm going to just thread that um, ear loop through there and so then it will stand. Um, and by doing that, the contaminated side of the mask is going to always be towards the front of the bag and the clean side of the mask is always going to be towards the back of the bag. So even if this bag gets knocked over, I don't have a clean side touching a contaminated side. So um, when they're finished with their break and they're ready to put their mask back on, they're going to start again with clean hands. Um, they'll pull the ear loop out of the slits and again, um, avoiding the front, we're just going to carefully doff the mask again. They're going to want to make sure that they check the seal. And now I'm going to do hand hygiene again because potentially what I touched is I checked the seal with contaminated. So I'm going to do hand hygiene and now I'm ready to go back out into that patient care area.